Good morning, Bruins. I'm Sydney Brandstetter. And I'm Milo Hart. And this, this is Bruin, Bruin TV. TV. Everybody knows what's up. Everybody knows about larger national days, but many people don't know that there are national days almost every single day. So today we have a story to tell us about some of the lesser known national days from this month by me, Olivia, and Rook. I'm Sydney Brandstetter. And I'm Olivia Deckard with Bruin TV. Today we will be talking about important dates from November 1st to November 14th. To start off, we have National Candy Day on November 4th. National Men Make Dinner Day on November 8th. <laughs> It's National Man Make Dinner Day, honey. <coughs> Happy National Man Makes Dinner Day! Tune in to next week's Bruin TV where we talk about more, more crazy and fun events and dates. I'm Sydney Brandstetter. And I'm Olivia Deckard with Bruin TV. Have, Have a, a great day, day Bruins! On that note of upcoming holidays, we have a special about both Veterans Day and the recent opening of a local VA clinic. Let's hand it over to me, Addison, and Grima to explain. Good morning, Bruins. I'm Grima. I'm Milo. And I'm Addison with, with Bruin, Bruin TV. For their dedication to our nation's preservation and for their oath to the Constitution on which the foundation of our government rests and their honor and service to their fellow Americans. As we all know, Veterans Day is coming up on November 11th. In town, we have our own VA clinic. This is the place where veterans go and hang out with each other and also get checkups. Clearly, we have lots of local veterans at the school. Even your students know or are even related to someone who served. These next photos are some that your classmates sent us, so thank you guys for willing to share the brave people in your life. Again, thank you everyone for sharing. And remember, Monday, November 11th, to thank a veteran for their service. Thank you all so incredibly much for joining us today. I hope you have an absolute amazing day. I'm Addison. I'm Milo. And I'm Grima with Bruin TV. Detroit down to Houston and New York to In today's world, many teenagers and young adults follow ideals or looks known as trends. Trends are something that have been here for many years. Luckily, we have a segment for you to see the, about the most recent trends in 2024 by Afton, Andrew, and Samara. Trends have been a thing for centuries. In the really far past, it wasn't called that term, but starting in the mid-20th century, it finally adopted the name we now all know. Trends are everywhere, anywhere, and almost everything. Movies, TV shows, music, games, and so much more all have certain things that are trending. From new movies like Twister to old game series that got new additions like Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Let's see all the trends of 2024. As we talk about the trending video games, we tried to keep it to only recent releases, so only stuff that came out in 2024. Our first game on the list is Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is a teen-rated game based off of the very popular anime, Dragon Ball. This game came out on October 11th of this year and currently has over 3 million downloads worldwide. The next game on our list is Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 is a rated R horror video game that was released on October 8th of this year. This game is a sequel to the original game that was released in February of 1999. Silent Hill also has film adaptations that carry the same feel and setting of the game, but give you a new storyline and cast of characters. Keep in mind that the game is rated for mature audiences. The last game on our list is Call of Duty Black Ops 6. This game is rated mature 17 plus and is a first person shooter and was released quite recently on October 25th. This is obviously the sixth released version of Black Ops, its former edition being four years old now as it came out in 2020. Our next category is movies where we'll talk about the top three movies of 2024. The number one movie as of writing this script is Inside Out 2. Inside Out 2 came out on June 14th of this year. The movie is a sequel to the first Inside Out movie, which came out in 2015. 
The movie is perfect for everyone of all ages, despite it targeting a younger audience. Our next movie is Deadpool and Wolverine. This movie came out on July 26th of this year. This movie is the third installation of the Deadpool movies. The last movie came out in 2018. Keep in mind that all of the Deadpool movies are rated R and require parental approval before watching. The last movie for this category is Kung Fu Panda 4. Kung Fu Panda 4 came out on March 8th and is obviously the fourth installation of the Kung Fu Panda movies. The movie has a runtime of 1 hour and 34 minutes and is rated PG. It is currently the third most profiting movie. <laughs> we move on to music, our last category, where our first topic is Tyler the Creator's latest album, Chromacopia. Chromacopia dropped on October 28th. It features multiple artists like Glorilla, Dochi, and Lil Wayne. The album has a 53 minute runtime and it is the perfect thing to listen to on your way to school. Next, we have the Brat album, released by Charlie XCX. The album came out on June 7th of 2024, with features such as Billie Eilish, Ariana Grande, and more. This album has a runtime of 41 minutes and 23 seconds, and was at its peak during the summer, which sparked the trend of Brat Summer. Lastly, we have Sabrina Carpenter's album, Short and Sweet. This album was released on August 23rd of this year, and she is currently on tour performing songs from this album. Two songs off of this album are on the list of top 10 songs of 2024, those songs being Espresso and Please, Please, Please. Trends are all around us, not just online, but throughout the day-to-day -day life that we experience. These were just a few of the many things that are trending today. I'm Afton Rutledge, back to you. We have all seen the decorations and flags around the school. So what's it all about? Well, it's Stuco the Stuco State Conference, and this year it's being held in our school. Here are Ulysses and Haley to tell us more on that. Good morning, Bruins. I'm Haley Capocello, and in this segment we'll be talking about the Student Council State Convention. Could you please introduce yourself and tell us your role in Student Council? So, my name is Heidi Lashevsky. My role in Student Council is I'm an advisor along with Ms. Daniels, Ms. Turner, and Ms. Hubbler, and we basically do all of the things Student Council in the school. So, Student Council basically, they put on prom, we do Mad Week, we do Homecoming, Welcome Week, and this year we've taken on the State Convention. And what is OASC? So OASC stands for Oklahoma Association of Student Councils, and it is basically an organization that schools across Oklahoma join, and it kind of promotes and fosters leadership, school culture, and school spirit in the schools. Why are we specifically hosting the Student Council <coughs> State Convention? We are hosting it because we really wanted to showcase how great Bartlesville and Bartlesville High School was. It was something where I attended one four years ago and it was so fun and I thought we need to bring this to Bartlesville. And what is the purpose of the OASC Stuco Convention? It's about 700 or 1,700 student council kids and advisors that are coming from schools all across Oklahoma to listen to speakers and connect with friends, make new friendships, foster old friendships, hang out, really build those leadership skills, really come up with new ways and new ideas to foster school spirit and a better school culture in all of our schools. Could you give us a basic rundown of the OASC Student Convention? It's a, it's a whole big production and basically this goes on for Saturday, Sunday, and then part of the day on Monday as well. So we have three speakers, we have lots of activities, we have lots of rotations, and then lots of opportunities for kids to collaborate and just hone those leadership skills to bring back to their schools. This year, Bartlesville High School will be hosting the 84th OASC State Convention, a tradition across all of Oklahoma. The three-day long convention will be hosted from November 2nd to November 4th, and schools from all over the state will be in attendance. Student Council has been hard at work decorating these halls for the upcoming event. The halls are looking great so far. The theme this year is Fairy Tale Embrace Your Story. Each hallway is decorated with fairy tales we all know and love. Can you introduce yourself and state your role in City Council? Hi, my name is Marissa Demuth and I'm the student body president. 
Marissa, why should students care about Student Council State? So not only is Student Council State a great way for students to take on leadership roles, but it also raises a lot of money for our council. So it goes back to you guys through dances and student sections and pretty much all the events that Student Council puts on. And we need a lot of help on the 2nd through the 4th of November, so please come up and support your Student Council and volunteer. Can you please introduce yourself and say your role in Student Council as well as OAS? Hi, my name is Emma Mackey. I'm a student delegate. Right now, I represent Bartlesville High School as the state secretary for the Oklahoma Association of Student Councils, or otherwise known as the OASC. Could you please introduce yourself and say your role in Student Council? Hi, I'm Bradley Heinemann. I'm the registration committee head, and I've been in Student Council for six years. Emma, from a student perspective, what is the Student Council State Convention? From a student perspective, the state convention is a reunion of students that come together to hear speakers enhance leadership skills, social skills, and just community involvement. It helps us bounce ideas off of each other and truly make the State Association of Student Councils the best it can be. Bradley, could you describe the magic of Student Council State? The community within Student Council across Oklahoma is unlike anything I've seen before. Everyone's so kind and they want nothing but the best for you and it's a big party and you meet so many great people there. Friendships will last a lifetime. I've enjoyed going to state the past few years and it's one of the highlights of my school year. Student Council is eagerly looking forward to hosting and student volunteers are also welcome. You can sign up through a Google form on Canvas. Have a great day Bruins. Well, that's all for today, Bruin TV. Well, that's all for today's Bruin TV. I'm Sydney Brandstetter. And I'm Milo Hart. Have a Have great, great day, day Bruins. Bruins.